Hello and welcome to Dice and Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to show you a Dreadnought I just finished painting today. So this is uh, my first ever Dreadnought and I chose to paint it even though I'm actually not doing a Space Marine army. So uh, now I'm... Uh, well, I'm not quite keeping my promise of only painting to play, but I just thought this was a fun project and looked like a fun model to try out uh, my cross-hatching technique on. So that's why I did, did it anyway. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this guy now that I've finished him, but uh, um, well, at least I had fun painting him and that's what uh, really matters, isn't it? So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I achieved this result. So first off, I use my contrast paint Yand and Yellow to just give it a quick coat of that. And as you can see, I'm not using it sparingly or anything. I'm just putting it on with a big brush. We have a lot of flat surfaces to cover here, so I don't want to spend hours upon hours doing it very neatly. I'll be covering most of the surface anyway with the cross hatching style anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. And as you can see, it gives it sort of a splotchy uneven look as contrast paints do on flat surfaces. They're not meant for this, they're meant for more textured things like fur and stuff. But as I'm going to be covering it, I don't really mind. And I'm just doing this really quickly. And I must say that's one of the things I really love about contrast paints is how quickly you can actually cover an entire area. If I'd been using ordinary yellow paint, I would probably have to give it, I don't know, two or three or four coats even perhaps to get uh, full coverage. And with contrast paint, you just go over it once and you get a finished result. I'm not saying it looks great if you don't do anything more about it, but you can actually work with it. Next up, I take some Black Templars contrast paint just to get a bit of, uh, of contrasting colors to the yellow. I was tempted to go with something much more bright, you know, like turquoise or pink or something. But I thought that uh, this was uh, kind of a challenge for myself to do something that wasn't my usual painting style. So I went with the black because it's a classic color scheme, black and, uh, black and yellow. Next up here, I'm doing the uh, dark edge highlights. I do this with the contrast paint Griffhound Orange. This is a very fun part of the project. And as you can see, I'm just using a completely ordinary thin brush. It's not, you know, one of the uh, size 000 or something. It's just an ordinary, very cheap brush from somewhere. I don't, I don't even know where I got it, a dollar store or something. And I'm not too careful with the orange because I want the edge highlights to show through when I'm doing the uh, yellow part of the uh, edge highlight, as you can see I'm doing here. Because I want it to still be visible with the orange um, next to it. The yellow highlights I'm doing with a ordinary, uh, I think it's a Flash Kids Yellow from Citadel. And this is actually the most time consuming part of the whole painting process because it takes much more work to get an ordinary yellow co color to work uh, for projects such as this um, compared, to the, uh, compared to the contrast paints. The contrast paints are so easy to work with. They have such a nice consistency and they go uh, on the model so smoothly. Here you have to work for it much more to get the same result, basically. If I could get a contrast color that would go on like the other contrast colors, but also cover a darker colors, which is what the contrast colors don't do right now, I would definitely use it. I'm uh, considering perhaps doing, using inks or something, but I've never tried those before. So if anyone has any suggestions uh, for something I could uh, perhaps use for this, uh, I would be very grateful. I'm trying to be relatively careful here so that I don't cover all the orange areas. And then when I'm done with the yellow, I go over it again with a Wraithbone. This is also a totally ordinary Citadel color. And I don't want to put too much Wraithbone on it because I don't want to end up with a model that looks like it's white with a bit of yellow. I want a yellow model that's just been highlighted with a bit of creamy white. The gold color I use here is Retributo Armor, also from Citadel. I like this gold color a lot. I think it has a nice coverage, nice feel to it, and you can uh, get a nice, warm, uh, rich uh, gold tone from it. The silver I use here is um, Iron Hand Steel. I have uh, used Nolan Oil to darken the steel, and then I used my Citadel Chestnut Ink that I'm 
quickly running out of. It's from the 90s and I can't get any more. And I use that to shade the um, to shade the gold. I really like this tone. And here we have the finished result. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out actually. I, uh, I thought I had recorded how I did the highlights for the black parts, but uh, somehow that was not on the camera when the model was done. Um, so I'm just going to tell you how I did it. It's uh, highlighted with the orange color first, it's a Vallejo color, and then I highlighted it uh, with yellow afterwards. So it's the exact same um, technique I used for highlighting the black. The silver and the gold are both highlighted with a Stormhost Silver, just sparingly highlighted with Stormhost Silver. And before I get too many comments about this, yeah, I know that a piece of the, uh, the, the front piece of the gun is missing, but as you all know, I have a bunch of orcs, so unfortunately they looted it before I had a chance to finish this model. So this is uh, the final result. And I must say, I'm not actually too sad about the piece that's missing. I think it makes it look a bit more raw, like it's um, a sort of shotgun or something. So I, I don't really mind. So this is it, and I hope, uh, I hope you like it. This was a lot of fun to do, but I don't uh, plan on doing an entire army like this. I think it was just a, a, a one-time dreadnought thing. So, but still a lot of fun and definitely loved painting those big armor plates. They were so satisfying somehow to put paint on. So if you have any comments or questions or anything, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my very best to answer every single one of them. Also, if you want to join the painting pledge, you are more than welcome to go over to our Facebook group, the Dyson Demon Showroom. I'll leave a link to that in the show notes below. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you will give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.